Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I got this Electrium Z here in Black Squad that Blunder built a few months back. Despite our min attack investment rate, we still blow away Pokemon like Tapu Fini and Toxapex with the Gigavolt Havoc, which just makes Heatran very spammable in the mid to late game. Our max special attack Earth Power does all this Oko opposing Heatran, which just opens up endgame paths with Mega Alakazam and Tapu Bulu. Our own Heatran right here is a very spadef set, just because we want to be able to take on Tapu Lele and Shift Gear slash Trickroom Magirna, which would otherwise blow away this team. This is also the team Stealth Rocker right here. We have a Taunt Tornado's T just to help out against Balance and Stealth sort of builds. SD Tapu Bulu as a secondary water resist alongside Kiram Black right here. Also provides a better Ash Greninja switch in. We have Mega Alakazam Recover 3 attacks, Speed Control for the team alongside Lando, as well as just a very nice special breaker alongside the Physical Breaker in Kiram Black. And then finally, like I said, Scarf Lando as our primary form of Speed Control on the team. It's actually Max Speed Jolly, which I don't know what the EVs are for, but it's definitely very nice to have around. HPI is just to help out against opposing Lando in case, you know, Kieran can't pressure that. And yeah, that'll be the team. You can find it down below in the description if you do wish to try it out yourself. And let's get right into the games. Alright, I've got a game right here. My opponent's team doesn't really have an Electrium Z target, which is kind of unfortunate. Lava Plume looks very similar right here, especially if I get a burn on the Glide Score before the Toxic Orb goes off and all that. I'm very much anticipating maybe just a Grand lead from them or even Heatran, so... I'm going to try to take advantage of that with my Alakazam right here, as they do lead off with Greninja. I think I do want to make an offensive Focus Blast play right away, however, Scarf Purdy and U-Turn could be annoying, I guess. Maybe I should just pivot to Bulu initially, because it's not that great here in the first place. I guess it is kind of nice, so let's actually go Torn. I, don't, I see a U-Turn or a Gunk Shot, I don't see an Ice Beam coming out. There's the U-Turn, I'm just going to zoom that Scarf and be glad that I scouted for it. They take some Helmet Chip, which is kind of cool. They don't really bring anything here that well, like I can taunt Reuniclus. Gliscor could come in and I guess get the orb going. They do go Heatran. This could be the Z, which is kind of scary. I don't really pivot into this though, so I'm just going to taunt it. Uh, so yeah, they can't go for rocks right there, which is kind of cool. And I think what I want to do now is maybe just... I could see them earth powering, that's for sure. I think my Alakazam can really take this on, but it's so good right here. I don't know if I don't risk that. I will U-turn out. And now it's just a matter of what I want to pivot into. Bulu is really nice right here. I don't want to throw that out. Kiram... I feel like Kiram's the play. It doesn't really deal with Scissor or Ferrothorn anyway. They go for a Flash Cannon, which is unfortunate. I could have gotten in my Heatran, but... I guess it's whatever. I can just go right here for the, the Electrium Z. I'm sure they'll pivot to Scissor. This will do an okay amount because it's not Mega Evolved, but it, they can still roost it off, of course. Yeah, that does a lot. It's unfortunately not in range of what I have next. They actually don't roost it, though, which is really interesting. Now, based on that roll, I don't exactly know what that is. I'm just gonna rocks up here as they go Heatran. So Scissor being weakened is great for me, and I don't really mind what's happening right now. I'll just Earth Power, as they just do the same, which is like, I guess, okay. I can just get in my, my Kiram now, and because I have a lot of special attack and Scissor's weakened, this can just have some fun. As they got into Ferrothorn, which is, I, I guess, fine. They, this could be the rocker. I'll just go for Ice Beam. Like, if they knock me out, they knock me out, but they're going to be in a really bad spot against Alakazam if this takes too much damage. So let's just Ice Beam. As they go for a knockoff, which is, I guess, okay with me. Maybe I should keep this Mon, but more damage is good for me too, I don't know. Let's Ice Beam again, as I unfortunately freeze this thing, that's that's really bad, because I, I might even roost up here, but I don't want to be dumb about it, let's just go for Ice Beam again. As I'm, I'm not going to try to roost up on this thing, if they thaw and knock me out, that's just terrible, and I would rather just get rid of their Mon right here. Yeah, so that really sucks for them, I will acknowledge that. The Greninja can maybe come out next and just try to attack me again. I don't really know what this Greninja is all about, though. That's the issue. I think that Alakazam is, once again, just going to have a lot of fun late game. Just clicking Psychic and whatnot. I do want to keep something that can deal with Scissor, though. Mm, tough endgame right here, because I also don't want to get swept by Reuniclus. I think SD Bulu plus Taunt Torn can take that on. Just fine. I will keep my Kiram right here, and I think pivot to... I'll pivot to Torn. As they go for the Ice Beam. Okay, so they make a read right there. I guess it wasn't much of a read. Like, I don't switch into it. Uh, that's very likely Scarf Ice Beam then. I don't- I'm pretty confident Alakazam can take two of those. I just wanted to see what attack they were going for, and Torn gets a regen, right? So, I can take advantage of that. Like, if there's Scarf, Purdy, and Gren. Which, I, I, I'm pretty sure it is. I, I can take that on. Okay, let's go out into you. I'm pretty confident this is Scarf, Purdy, and if it's not, then I'm fine here anyway. Let's just Mega Evolve and go right for the Focus Blast. They don't really pivot in right here. Scissor can come in and get sacked. They go hard to Reuniclus, which is great for me. I'll just Shadow Ball this a couple of times. Even if you calm mind up, I don't think you take this on, so that's great. I don't think Greninja Pivot is very smart for them either. 
Hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit confused about this one. Why did you go with Reuniclus? Unless, does this actually take me on with Calm Mind? It might for all I know. Let's see. No, that does way too much. Yeah, that's that's not taking me on, man. <laughs> you, you die to the next one. Yeah, get out of here, Reuniclus. So that's a threat out of the way, which is great. Greninja comes back in. It's definitely just going to go for a U-turn. Now that the Reuniclus is gone, I think that Torn is just expendable. Uh, so they go for Rock Slide, which is, I, I guess, fine. I can just go... Uh, rock slide, huh? I'll go out into you and maybe just. I think U turn's probably okay. There's no way you stay in here. You either go Gliscor or you just go Scissor. I also want to knock off. Knock off is not bad either, actually, in case they go Gliscor. It should 2 hit KO Scissor from 40, which is, like, cool. The problem is, I can't let Scissor roost. If I knock off and then they, you know, go gl Scissor after, I'm pretty sure it'll take the hit, and then I don't know what to do against that mon, so. Let's go for the U turn. As they go Gliscor, this just gives me my cure in black, which is really nice here. Now it's another, like, thing. Do I roost or do I just attack? I feel like I Ice Beam. It should kill Scissor from 28. And I just want to get my, my Scarf Earthquake going. So nice, er, now Earthquake just kind of claims every time I come in, which is absolutely beautiful. Tapu Bulu is now my Expendable Mon. So you go for a U-turn right there. Out into Heatran. Okay, so Heatran's an interesting switch, and I do want to make sure this Scissor cannot... Roost. This is likely just going for Stealth Rocks. I'll go for the SD here. The Corkscrew Crash on me. Okay, well, I just get in Kyurem now. Kyurem should be able to beat this, so I'm not too worried. I'll just Earth Power. Yeah, it just knocks it out. I don't think I can lose to Scarf Parody and Grand locking into any particular move, because Alakazam should be able to take one of anything, and when their type changes, I can just Psychic it, right? So, yeah, I don't think there's a move they can lock themselves into. They go Scissor first. My play is literally just sac- actually, wait a minute. Terrain's gonna be up, huh? Does that change anything for me? It does. This terrain could mess me up late game. Let's go out into you now. And I think what I want to do is start spamming Earthquake. Hmm, is my terrain about to mess me up here? It is. I just lost, I think. I think my terrain just lost me the game, because if this is SD, it just beats me. Um, let's just, my players continue spamming this. They're gonna continue roosting up. Um, uh, man, my, my own grassy train is gonna mess up this game. They are swords down, so I just gotta hope I crit through it. Yeah, and that's not gonna happen right here. Alright, so unfortunately the combination of Bulu plus Lando kind of hurt this game a little bit. Um, yeah, I just get swept by bullet punch from this position, so I'll drop a GG. Unfortunate way to end that one off, I definitely think I played really well against the Reuniclus and the Gliscor. I was able to open up an endgame path for Lando, but... Going into Bulu was a big misplay initially, but I really thought that would be my best pivot into Gren. It is what it is though, I'll be right back. Alright, I found another match right here. This guy does have an Electrium Z target, which is the Tapu Fini. In fact, Kieran Black is gonna go in right here. It kinda just has fun against this team. I think what I wanna lead off with is my, my Tornadus. It doesn't really mind anything in particular, but a Static Para could be annoying. Another option is right here just leading off my Kieran, but if they lead off with something like Heracross to pressure me, that would be bad. Let's lead Torn. Uh, so they lead Zapdos, which is for sure smart of them right here. Heatran is going to be my initial pivot. I don't really see them switching out, maybe into something like... No, they don't switch out right here, you just go for the electric move, I think. Because, I mean, sure, I can pivot to Lando, but what's Lando doing to you? I think they should just go for the electric move, fish for a para. Zapdos always paralyzes me too, so ideally we can avoid that right here. That would be great. But yeah, Mega Scissor kind of messed me up. I messed up my Heatran in the last game, that's where I went wrong. I definitely let my Heatran go down too early. That gave Scissor the opening. Let's see. Kyurem can come in and just, I guess, Ice Beam through their team. The only thing that switches into Ice Beam is Jirachi and Feeny. Jirachi might be able to take me on somewhat well, but I think it might be offensive Jirachi on this team, which would be great for me right here. My opponent's thinking about this one. I guess they might have U-Turn or Volt Switch, but... Like, I just want to get up my rocks, force out the Feeny, maybe get in my Bulu on that. If they Scald Burn me, that would absolutely suck, so... There is that. They also don't switch into Zam, I just realized. Zam has a ton of fun right here. Zam plus Kyurem is definitely going to be one of my better ways of going about this. I'll be right back once they decide. So yeah, they picked a move right here, and that move was you turning out into their Garchomp, which is, I guess, okay. I can just go Tapu Bulu here as they get up their Stealth Rocks. I defog on a few things, like, I guess, Jirachi, Fini, and Serp, so I'm not, like, too worried right here or anything like that. I'll double to Heatran to try to get my own up, because while... Rocks are bad for me. I think if I could just get mine up, they're going to like just be really weak to Zam at that point. Let's just go for the rocks right here. They could go right back to Chomp. They go Heracross, okay. I feel like they may go for a Rock Blast right here, but I really can't risk like... I'm going to Lava Plume. I feel like they go for Rock Blast. 
Yeah, that's great for me because they tried to catch my torn. Uh, now they have no reason not to rock blast again, which is interesting. Do I just throw this thing out? I don't want to be in a bad spot against a late game Scarfarachi, but what do I do right here? I don't actually deal with this anymore. Do I just try to like, I guess Lando can take that on. They unfortunately miss. That's terrible for sure. I don't know what the accuracy is on that. Let's just check. Uh, Rock Blast. 90%. Yeah, that, that's pretty sad. That's definitely going to shift the tide in my favor a little bit. Bulu is still expendable because they have Jirachi and Zapdos and all them. So we'll just go out into this guy. Make sure I don't get swept by Scarfarachi's spamming Iron Head. That would be very sad too. I'll SD up here just in case they try to pivot out into like Zapdos and I can maybe just SD up twice. Because after SD twice, they, they're just so weak to Horn Leech at that point. It's kind of sad. They go hard Jirachi, okay. They got Terrain Recovery before me, which I guess makes sense. Um, I'll, I'll go Heatran. Yeah, on the Iron Head. Because this just allows me to select click Lava Plume again. Yeah, so this is this is Scarfarachi, I think. Which is the only reason why I kept Heatran in the back. I don't want to get swept by Iron Head. That would be a, just a terrible way to lose. If they go a Tepu Fini after, I guess I'll just go back to Bulu. Like I said, Bulu is not important. Bulu can do work right here, but I need Heatran more for Jirachi and all them. Okay, I don't burn, which I'm kind of glad I didn't. That would have been, like, just terrible if I did. Let's go out into this now. Uh, they go for an SD, okay. I kind of timed my terrain, huh? huh? <laughs> Let's just go for Horn Leech. Like, I just wanted an range of Zam, mainly. Yeah, if, especially Zam Shadow Ball. If I can get stuff in range of Zam Shadow Ball, that Jirachi cannot pivot in, which is great. Well, that meant to Psychic first anyway. That That's already a Zam range. Okay, good. What do you have for me out of curiosity? Z? Okay, this is definitely a Z mode. I'm going to protect here, maybe on the Z move. Yeah, there's that Continental Crush. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't want to dodge Stone Edge, but I also, it's my play here. Okay, I'll just sack that off. Go out into this now. I think my click is just Shadow Ball, if I had to guess. But I'm going to Psychic just because I feel like they're staying in or pivoting to Zapdos first. Maybe I should Shadow Ball. Yeah, I don't want them going hard Jirachi. They shouldn't go hard Jirachi, but I don't want them doing it. They should either sack off Garchomp or go Zapdos, but... I guess Zapdos is not really a play either. Yeah, they give me the Garchomp to get in Jirachi after. Um, I'm gonna go Lando this time, because I feel like they may go for something... Not the U-turn was... I wasn't anticipating that, but I guess that works too. Hmm. Kieran Black hasn't hit the field yet, which I, I really wanted to get that Electrium Z kill on Feeny this game. That would be really cool to see. Yeah, but the, the Heracross miss really sucked. I mean, I got I made the prediction the first time, which would have put Heracross in a bad spot late game anyway. It was already in range of Ice Beam at that point. It was in range of Lando after the terrain went down. So it's not like it was the biggest threat or anything at that point, but definitely the fact that I gained momentum right there because Daramon fainted shifted the tide in my favor right here. Let's see. They go out into the Zapdos. Okay, I guess that's fine. I can maybe just knock off, but I also see no other reason not to just go hard as am. I guess it's like Discharge Para is the reason, right? I like the idea of knocking. Let's go for a knockoff. As they roost, I get rid of a helmet. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll go hard Kyurem here. I feel like they're going to go for the HP Ice. They actually Volt out. No, come on. G give me this Feeny now, please. Don't go Jirachi. This guy keeps on going Jirachi. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go Heatran on the Iron Head. Okay. I'm going to make a double here. Yeah, now I'm just gonna gigavolt havoc. I want this thing to ha I want this to happen, and this is happening right now. I think that's great. That's fine. I'll I'll definitely take your Jirachi from you. This is probably your best win con, if I had to guess. And uh, at this point, I don't let my Jirachi get weakened because that could actually make me lose to Scarf Serp. No, I think Kyurem is still worth keeping. That's the thing. Let's go Lando on the U-turn. Unfortunately, Lando is not immune to Zapdos' is static, which it is static, right? It's not pressure, yeah. I think hard Zam is not a bad play. Alternatively, I just spam until I die. I don't think that's smart either. I'll go hard Zam because they can't discharge paralyze me under this terrain. They can just psychic here. Like, they're so weak to Zam at this point, it's kind of ridiculous. That does so much. I get a spit after drop too, which just, like, takes away their spit after drop chance. Um, I'll just continue spamming Psychic. I, I want the damage on this. They're in range now, which is cool. Yeah, like, Scarf Serp can't win because I still have my Heatran. At this point, they don't really switch into Lava Plume either, so there's that. Yeah, Lava Plume kind of just wins on from Heatran. I mean, Heatran is weakened, but I think I played it well this game. 
Definitely, yeah, the miss really sucked though. I wouldn't have had my heat trend around if it wasn't for the miss. I don't know, maybe Zam plus Kirim would have done it anyway, but you never know, right? I definitely lucked out. Um, yeah, at this point, I'll just go Lando on the U-turn. Zapdos is obviously going to come back in. I'll U-turn out into Kirim on that, okay. And I mean, I just have a max special attack Ice Beam coming their way. I'd imagine it knocks out Zapdos. It definitely should. And they don't switch in at all. Yeah, that, that's a sack, okay. Superior comes in. Um, I just sack this off now. Get in Heatran. Just click Lava Plume. They don't knock me out. If they're not Scarf, then they definitely lose. And I, I think they are Scarf because they didn't get lefties right there, so that, that's a thing. They should go Zapdos and hope I choke and stay in again, but I never would. Like, my play is just sack off my, my Torn and then go Zam again. If worst comes to worst, I might have to hit a Hurricane. Okay, they're actually not locked in, which is interesting. Um, yeah, I knocked that out, and they're just going to go ahead and forfeit, seeing that. My Heatran being alive that game was really terrible for them. I definitely lucked out with the Rock Blast miss. It was against Heatran, right? I'm not being dumb. It wasn't against Bulu or anything. Yeah, it was definitely against Heatran right there, but I didn't switch into Heracross at that point. I could have gone Lando, but Lando's speed control was definitely nice, too. Intimidate for Jirachi was great, so... I don't know, I definitely got lucky, and I'll be right back. So I found another game right here. This guy's running like Gen 6 Talonflame hyper offense, except he just replaced Talonflame with Mimikyu, which is kind of interesting. I'm actually curious to see how this team functions, and maybe it'll blow me away. You never know. I all these people lead off with either Drill or Azelf. They this guy does lead Azelf, okay. I mean, that's annoying, because I would have much rather just led something like Torn, I guess, but I'll just Ice Beam. Like, worst thing is that my Kyurem takes like an explosion, I guess. Yeah, they're, they're likely going for an explosion here, so I'll just go Heatran, I guess. Like, Heatran's very bad here. Yeah, there's the explosion, and this will kind of force out Drill or maybe Manaphy here. Manaphy is a threat for sure, but I think Kyurem can actually take that on. Pinsir decides to hit the field. I don't have Stone Edge on this, which is kind of bad. I think my play is literally just Lava Plume in case they try to SD for no reason. They do just go right for a nice Earthquake right there, which makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Yeah, Torn is my play right here. Let's just hit him up with the, the nice Hurricane. They may expect a Defog and stay in too, which would be great for me. If I can just knock out Pinsir right here, that's huge, because this, like, I don't switch into this Mon. I really need to get this KO. I'm pretty sure even if I like don't KO it, Rocky Helmet Chip might put it in range of some other things. But getting rid of the KO, getting the KO would be huge. I get a crit into Drill coming in, which is kind of big. Um, I don't know what this Drill is, I'm just going to Defog here as they go Manaphy that turn. Here I can just U-turn out, given that Kyurem can take any 1 plus 3 hit. I'll just go out into it right here on the Scald. And then, like, I, I guess I can just regular Fusion Bolt right away. I can also just Z if I want, but I want to save the Z for Mimikyu, so let's just Fusion Bolt. I got a crit through it, yikes, I mean, they don't get their plus 3. I'm definitely getting lucky these last two games. Um, this actually will knock it out through the, the, the disguise, I'm pretty sure, so let's just go for it. Uh, well, with the Life Orb, well, I actually expected that to Oko through it, but I guess it just doesn't. Um, Zam can prevent myself from getting swept by D-Knight, I guess, so let's do that. Yeah, D-Knight comes in. I, I just Psychic here, and then, like, I'll outspeed it after the Dragon Dance. If they go for the... What's the thing called? The, the Extreme Speed. I'm pretty sure I'd live it, first of all, but even Lando can just take that on. Yeah, I do, I'm able to take that pretty nicely. Um, I, I think I keep this, maybe, just for... No, I don't keep it. I go, I go for the Psychic here. And I just got into this guy. Go right for the, the U-turn. Knock that guy out. Bring in my, my Tornadus here, which, like, forces out Drill, essentially. I can just U-turn out here. As, uh, they Rock Slide flinch me with their Choice Scarf, which is kind of bad. Uh, I could see them doubling out here, but I'll go Lando anyway. They do double out, but, like, look at how low they are, right? Um, I just spam HP Ice. Or I can just U-turn right back to my, my thing now. Like, even at minus one, you're not going to do any damage to me. I live a plus one quick attack, so... The king, the game comes down to me hitting Hurricane, I guess. As I do, which is cool. And yeah, that should be that. I have Scarf Lando with max speed jolly. Those EVs are going to come in clutch right here. They go for Iron Head. I just break through. <laughs> no, I didn't break through. Okay. 
Yeah, just bring this guy in, Earthquake, and Max Speed Jolly Lando does outspeed Drill. Definitely got lucky hitting the Hurricane. If I missed, I, I definitely lost. There's no way I even Intimidate Lando with the Choice Scarf can outspeed. Plus one Mega Pinsir. I don't know, maybe this should be Stone Edge. That would really help out that weakness, but I'll be right back with another game. So I found another game right here. I think the key to this one is just get rid of Skarm, and then Bulu can just have a ton of fun right here. That looks like my endgame possibility. I think what I want to do is lead off with my, my Heatran on the Sableye. Maybe pivot to Torn right away to get some Rocky Helmet chip. Torn is kind of, you know, useless. I mean, the Rocky Helmet's useless. Torn is good here with Taunt, don't get me wrong. And yeah, I can just go out into that, start spamming Hurricane. If at any point they give me the Skarm, I can just kind of have a ton of fun with my Tapu Bulu, which is the idea here. No, I'm, I'm assuming they're unaware Claff, right? So that's something I have to keep in mind as well. I want to make sure that my Bulu doesn't get toxic by the Gliscor. That's going to be important. They have to go right for the Protect, which is like, I guess, okay. We'll just Hurricane here. as I crit them and they calm mind. Okay, that's an interesting turn. They're going for game already, huh? Okay, now they're confused. They're playing with fire already. I don't, I don't really get it. Because if you're calm mind, you're not Wisp, meaning I'm going to cure him. Ah, hello. You want to show me your switch in here? I can assure you Quagsire is not the switch in. <laughs> They're probably calking right now to see that smack special attack and yeah, then they'll go Chansey, which is like, I guess, whatever. Let's go Heatran. So they get up there. Ah, oh, I just Lava Plume here. On the Gliscor coming in. Always go Torn. Torn being toxic is bad, but because of her generator, I, I don't really mind. I can just defog here. Get rid of all these hazards. Make sure Kyurem can come in as many times as I want. I'm gonna have to try to get my rocks up eventually, which kinda sucks. Yeah, if, I, mean, I should start using Calm Mind. Zam. Calm Mind is M60 stall. I just realized that would actually just mess this team up. I'm um, having Quagsire weaken doesn't really help me with anything. <laughs> I guess maybe Scarf Lando, like just pressuring them at some point. I would have to get rid of Quagsire, Skarm, Gliscor, Chansey, probably Clef too, and then I can click Earthquake. Um, yeah. So there's that. Let's see. Yeah, just defog here. I think eventually the combination of Heatran plus like Torn and Kyurem can just win this game. It's just gonna be kind of tedious. So like I always do with Stall, I'll play up to a certain turn. Once that turn hits, I will stop from there. They S toss there. Okay, I always U-turn here just for the regen. Into my good pal Heatran. Here we go. With Lava Plume here as a Glide Score comes in. I'm gonna go cure him. Then what I'm gonna do is double out into Heatran on the Chansey. Yeah, and I guess I'll attempt rocks now. As they go Gliscor, okay. This is likely the Defogger. Yeah, okay, so I don't get anything out of that maneuver. We've found out that out now, okay. This is the Defogger. I'll just Ice Beam here as they sack off the Quagsire, nice. I already knocked out a Pokemon turn 18 against Stall, which is like always a good thing, right? Um, I mean, Tapu Bulu is still my end game, right? I gotta make sure I can make that happen. Okay, out comes this guy. I'll just get up my rocks here. Likely Gliscor just comes back in. Eventually, they'll run out of defogs and I can keep my rocks up. That would be an ideal scenario. Regarding this scenario, I'll just go Lando on the defog, right? And I think I just click HP Ice. I don't want the Chansey coming into soft boil. Let's just U-turn. Nah, I should HP Ice right here. As, uh, okay, this is the Pokemon that I need gone, so... I'll go hard cure him. On the spike, okay. I'm gonna Gigavolt. Ah, that's not enough. That doesn't absolutely zero. Well, I have no reason not to try for the crit, right? I guess freeze chance is higher than crit chance. Let's try it. You never know. They're on the, they're on the defensive right here, so they're gonna have to, you know, be playing super defensively. I mean, they're playing a soft world. Yeah, and they're gonna get it off, unfortunately, so... I should have weakened this a bit more before I tried that, but it's it's not the end of the world, I guess. Let's go Heatran here. Go right through the plume of the lava. As they're starting to S-toss now, okay. Well, I'll throw those up. Get in my Lando here on their ox, and I guess I'll just click Knock Off now. As Skarm comes in, those lefties being gone is so good for me. Um, I have to defog, so Torn, you wanna do this for me now? 
Okay, this comes in. They could have Brave Bird. Let's defog. Shanty has, what, 14 soft boils left? Yeah, turn 50 is when I'll cut to the end. I'm pretty sure this is a win, but you never know. It's, it's stall, right? They, if you lose one, if you can't break one of their Pokemon, you lose, right? That's how it works in stall. Um, I, I really wish I can taunt it here, but do I die to s How much was it doing earlier? I forget. Where, this thing s tossed me earlier. Heatran. Tornadus lost 27. Pretty sure I taunted on Rock slash Softboiled. Yeah. I just U-turn out here. Honestly, I can go Bulu now and start to SD. Because I'm getting a lot of recovery. I'll go Heatran, though. Because I want this to get the terrain recovery and the lefties and all that. You know what? Uh, I was actually about to stay in because I wanted to see what the Skarm's response for me was, but this works too. Let's get up my rocks as the Chansey is definitely coming back. I guess I have no reason not to just Toxic here to make sure that it's going to get forced out eventually. Let's go out into this guy on the heal bell. You turn out here. There's no way they're giving me a knockoff on that, right? Yeah, I can get an Alakazam now. Just hit him up with a Focus Blast in all honesty. This is going to mess this thing up. Chansey comes in, takes absolutely zero, because it's Chansey. Fun Pokemon. Um, I'll just go back to Lando. Okay, I'm going to start U-turning on the Skarm to make sure that it's getting worn down over time. Bring in this here. Focus Blast again. As Chansey hits the field, bring in Lando on the Soft Boiled. Ah, that's, that was the turn I should have gone for the knock. Let's bring this in on the S toss now. Okay, so it's not toxic. That's good to know. I don't think the scrum is weak enough, unfortunately. That's that's the big thing right here. That thing has to be weaker. Let's get this back in. Go right for the Focus Blast, and I think I have the opening I want with Bulu at this point in the game. Yeah, I definitely do. My play here is Sack the Lando. Get in Bulu, SD up, and go for it now. This Skarmory is not going to take me on. That dies from 40. Yep, goodbye. Their only play is, I guess, Clefable. Knock off your wrist, Defog. What's your Clefable set? Sableye dies. Chansey is definitely not taking me on. I don't think Clefable is taking me on, in all honesty. Gliscor comes in. Gliscor is definitely not taking me on. They go for the knockoff to get rid of my item. I'll just Hornleech at plus three now. <laughs> what are you taking this on with? If you're not unaware Clef, which you definitely are, then you're gonna get messed up, but let's see. Roost right there and just dies, okay. They're magic guard. Okay, come here. Takes so much as they flamethrower. I just knocked that out. Yeah, this this was a joke. Like the stall team got blown away by Tapu Bulu the moment that Skarm going down. Turn thankfully I was able to do it pretty quickly too. I'm glad I made the offensive maneuvers around Skarm, because that's all I needed weekend right here, and then this one, so. I'll take that and I'll be right back. So my next game right here is going to be up against this team that's very weak to Ice Beam Sim. I think my, my opponent's checking whether Jellison can learn Muddy Water. <laughs> definitely cannot. Let's go ahead and, well I only know that because of this, I definitely didn't know that before. Let's lead off with Lando here against Como. So this is likely just their rocker, right? Let's go for U-Turn into Torn right here. Torn is important, but like they have double electric, so I mean it's not the best. Uh, Toxic is bad, but you also don't switch into Hurricane all that well. Sure, you can go Coco. I, I'll take the damage, as I actually confuse them, so... I have a chance to get even more out of the turn, which would be great. I'll make an offensive play to cure him, not really anticipating D-Gleam. 21, why does that feel like a lot for a Coco into a cure him? Is that Z? Like physical Z, I guess? Yeah, that's, that's some sort of physical set. 
Uh, Tepu Lele comes in. Oh, yeah, I have to go Heatran here. Oh, yeah, Spec Psy Shock. I mean, I could have just stayed in and, like, just gone for Electrium and just hope I won the Speed Tie. <laughs> Not really much of a play. I could see them just staying in, too, but, like, they really shouldn't. They should always go back to Como if they want to. Be smart. Yeah, okay. So there's that. Um, uh, likely their rocks just go up here, so I'll go out into my Kyurem on that. Because I want to scout for what this Magirna is. This dies, what's in front of me right now. Assault Vest? No, that's not Assault Vest. It's just really spadef. <laughs> Why does that do so little? Alright, well, I'm throwing you out, Kyurem. You couldn't do that much damage. Get out of here, Kyurem. Oh, I get to see what the... It is Vest, okay. Well, I think I'm going to get to damage the Magirna anyway. That's that's amazing for Alakazam. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'll take that. Uh, my end game right here is just Scarf Lando. I gotta somehow pressure theirs, which they should never let me do that, but... I'll go Lando here. Start quick, knock it out. Um, they don't really know what my item is, which is good for me. Yeah, their Lando comes in. I wish I was some sort of a Z here, because that would just kind of win. Uh, you know what else just kind of wins? Tapu Bulu. <laughs> Um, let's go Heatran here on the, the Tapu Coco coming in. This is a wild charge because it's that physical set, I know. So I'm going out into Lando on that. And then I'm going to HBS into theirs. I'm going to play offensively for this end game right here. Maybe I should just Earthquake because it's taking Rock's chip anyway. The pro I, I can just go Torn on it. I'll just go for Earthquake here. I feel like they're going back to Como anyway, so like, that's whatever. We've already seen how spidef this Como is, yeah. Why is it so spidef? It's ridiculous. I don't care about Lando coming in. Like I said, I just wanted to take that Rocks chip. I'm gonna hope this KOs, because I kinda needed to. Rocks chip on this is great. In fact, if I can get a Helmet chip on this too, that would be even better. Go for U-turn, please. By all means. Hey, more more Helmet chip right there. That's good. Um, This, this Tapu Lele is gonna be an issue. Out comes you. I don't need this Mon. As they Brave Bird and just throw that out. Okay, then. I mean, this actually claims, doesn't it? This comes in, dies, this dies to HP Ice, this dies to... Well, we know it's Specs, I can just U-turn out on that. If Menekter comes in, I'm going to U-turn. I don't think I can knock it out due to Intimidate. Um, I will just Earthquake here. Like I said, I have no reason to predict Lando this game. Just due to how it keeps on taking damage. So I'm going to knock that out right there too. Lando hits the field here. As always, Tornadus is super useless here. As they, they go for that, okay. Just let them knock me out. Get in, get in my Zam here. Click Psychic. Yeah, pretty, pretty easy end game right here. Didn't really have to think much. We know it's Specs, meaning like, yeah, this is gonna get blown away by two of these. Just Shadow Ball here, knock it out. I don't know why I didn't Psychic. That's definitely the play there. Um, yeah, Lando comes in. I guess my best play is just to Psychic because they can't beat me with the the Manectric anyway. I just got into you now. Click um, U-turn. Go Bulu, Horn Leech here, and like even with the grassy terrain, first of all, they don't knock me out with anything. Even Overheat won't do it. Yeah, <laughs> type of Bulu is too strong, and uh, that'll be the game right there. We are able to go ahead and pick up a win. I believe that moves us up to four and one. And with that, I'll go ahead and end it off because that stall game was so long. I did hope you all enjoyed. I definitely think I got a grasp on the team after the first game when I choked against the Scissor with my grassy terrain, but we won every game from there, which was cool. And I'll see you next time. Later.